Hey, 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 how you doing? It is Thursday. I am Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com and I'm live with another answer to a question that you're asking about audio. It could be anything to do with audio, making your voice sound better, sound deeper, as in today. Hang on. Deeper. Something like that. Um, or just editing, uh, compression, or something more advanced. Throw it at me. You can do it over at community.musicradiocreative.com uh, or if you like, just email us via the website at musicradiocreative.com. Uh, now I'm going to go into my screen share here in Adobe Audition CC 2018 and uh, let you know that I had a, a voiceover effect question uh, from Andrew L. Uh, he says, hello, Mike. My name is Andrew and I got carried away with sound design. I uh, recently saw some voice processing, tried to repeat it in audition, but couldn't. Uh, so maybe you could uh, help me out on your channel uh, to recreate this effect. So he's given me two cuts here. Let's play the first one. One more time. Okay, that's the first cut. And then he's given me this cut. One more time. And he can't quite get his voice to sound as deep, you know, deeper, as it sounds in the second cut. One more time. Okay, so let's have a listen to what's going on here. One more time. Original. Second. One more time. And this can be done with any kind of voiceover. So the first thing I'm going to do, but not the only thing, as I'm going to point out some other differences, is I'm going to apply the pitch shifter uh, in the effects menu. Time and pitch. You can do this in many ways. The best way is just go pitch shifter like that. And uh, we can choose maybe go down one semitone. Keep the sense in the middle at the moment at zero, and let's audition that. One more time. Still not quite so low, so let's go down to minus four on this and play again. One more time. One more time. Okay, one more time. Switch it off and listen to the original. One more time. Going far deeper, isn't it? So let's go to uh, minus eight on the semitones. One more. One. Switch the effect back on. One more time. One more time. One more time. One more time. Okay, we're getting close. One more time. One more time. One more time. So let's apply that and compare it. One more time. One more time. One more time. One more time. But there's something else going on there. It's not just a, a standard pitch shift. Uh, what we can see here, if you look at this part of the waveform, it kind of dips down, whereas there's not really that much of a dip here in the processed version. So now we're going to go and add some compression on. Uh, that may well have been one of the missing links for you, uh, Andrew, when you were trying to replicate this effect. Now, you can use any compressor. Compressor? <laughs> it's a live stream. What can I say? Uh, single band compressor is pretty good, uh, and will probably do the job. Uh, you've got dynamics processing here, similar thing going on. Multiband compression might even help. In fact, I might pick the multiband compressor as my tool of choice because we'll be able to focus on certain frequencies, like, for instance, enhancing uh, bass. I'm going to go for a really uh, harsh one like the broadcast preset. Let's click open preview and see how this is going to affect things. So now you see the waveform is starting to look very similar to the other waveform. One more time. One more time. Okay, and let's focus on the bass. Can you hear that? And you can see it's tickling the red there, so it's getting compressed. Let's move the threshold down. Move the threshold up. One more time. One okay. more time. And I'm just going to apply that broadcast preset for a moment and then compare it. Um, in fact, just to make sure it's an equal comparison, I'm going to turn this down in amplitude a little bit. One more time. One more time. One more time. One more time. Okay, so. One more time. One more time. time. Now, what I can hear here. Time. Time. One more time. One more time. Is there's a little bit of pitch bending going on uh, on the second part. Time. It's like time. It's going up and then down. Like that. Time. So we got. Time. Compared to. Time. 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 Okay, so the first original bit sounds. One more. One more time. One more time. One more time. One. So we're going to apply some pitch, uh, time and pitch, pitch bending, and see what we can do with this. So, and what we can do now is we can have a little mess about and sort of. So 
So you can do all kinds of crazy stuff with this pitch bender until you get exactly what it is you're looking for. If you can't move enough semitones, hold down the uh, command or control key. It allows you to do it a little more subtly. So down. Let's just move that up a bit more. So it's kind of getting there. Time. Time. Now what I think we're missing as well, let's go into multi-track for this and we'll call it stretch. Stretch. Bring this in compared to the original. So this is the one that I've been manipulating in Adobe Audition. This is going to be the one that will stay over here in a raw area. So we've got one more time. One more time. One more time. And I'm going to now stretch this using the stretch tool. Time, time. One more 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 time. So you're getting very close. I'm getting close, Andrew, but uh, I really wish that I could do more with this because I notice that I'm not getting quite close enough. And feel free, by the way, if you watch this video and you can think of something that I haven't demonstrated in this video uh, that would really help to get close to the second effect that Andrew is trying to achieve, do comment down below, uh, either in the live chat while I'm going live or afterwards. Uh, your um, chat is very welcome uh, on anywhere that you're watching, Facebook, YouTube, YouTube, uh, Periscope, Twitch, uh, just comment with your thoughts on this. So uh, I'm just going to undo all of my uh, changes here. One more time. Put it back to normal. And I'm going to try something else over in time and pitch. So we've got pitch shifter. We've got pitch bender. We've got manual pitch correction, automatic pitch correction. They're more for auto tuning. Let's go to stretch and pitch process and have a play with this because this is a different kind of stretch. One more time. So he's going up. Let's go. Uh, stretch. One more time. Now we're getting quite close. So 120%. One. One more time. Okay, maybe a little bit more. One. And you can change the semitones as well if you like, if you prefer that. One. One more time. And let's undo that and listen to this. One more time. So this is kind of maybe a bit of a closer stretch. One more time. Um, and you might want to play around with the EQ. As you can see here, the EQ is very different. Lots more bass in this version compared to the, the other version, which seems to have it ironed down a little bit. So EQ has definitely gone on there. Um, but yeah, have a play in the effects menu. Time and pitch, pitch bender, shifter, stretch and pitch. Uh, different ways to make voices sound deeper for certain. Andrew and others, I hope that will help you out. Uh, and also go into the multi-track. You can do lovely stretching like this. You can stretch things right out as far as you one like this. You can do all kinds of crazy effects. Um, really, the limit is your imagination. Uh, so thank you for watching this session today. And if you'd like to get your audio question featured on a future episode, go over and post it in community.musicradiocreative.com.